broadcasting from Studio 300 on Cal Poly's campus. You're watching Mustang News. Thank you for joining us today for this special edition of Mustang News. I'm Ben Fletcher. With regionals around the corner for the Cal Poly Club Polo Team, we have special guest Trista Noland here. Hi, Trista. Hi. Trista is a first year student at Cal Poly and she's a starter on our club polo team. Thank you for being here, Trista. How long have you been playing polo? I've been playing polo for about five years now. All right, and it's kind of an obscure sport. How did you get involved in polo? Uh, my grandmother's a teacher here and she had a couple students that introduced her to the sport. And at the time I was taking horseback riding lessons with her and it just kind of all fell into place with the timing. Haven't stopped since. Okay, and this year is a pretty special year for Cal Poly's polo team. Can you tell us why? Yes, this year it's our first time as part of the animal science department, and we're really happy to be a part of that. No longer a club sport. Okay. Um, what has you most excited about regionals? Because they're coming up pretty soon. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited about regionals this year because we have three starting freshmen who are just an absolute rocking team, and I think that we have the potential to win nationals. So I'm stoked about regionals. It's going to be a great opportunity for us to kind of bond with the other Western teams, but we're looking for nationals. Can you tell us a little bit about the process of regionals? Like I know you have to, you're going, where is it, to Connecticut? No, for regionals, we're going to actually stay here. We are hosting regionals in Los Sosos, but nationals will be in Connecticut. Right. And then you talked a little about, bit about um, the struggle of having to be able to ride any horse. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes. So our club has about 30 horses that we know pretty well, we've learned to ride and play off of. But when we go to any other neighboring team, for example, Connecticut and for nationals, we're going to have to play 12 horses that don't belong to us, that we've never ridden before. So it really pushes our versatility as riders. Very good. So looking back on this season so far, what's one thing you can take away that will help you for regionals and also looking forward in your polo career? I've really noticed that the teams with the best emotional cohesiveness are the ones that make it to nationals. The teams that can take it together in a game and not be stressed or feel nervous, those are the ones that win. Okay, and a lot of people, myself included, don't really know a whole lot about polo as a sport. Can you give a brief, in a nutshell, description of what polo actually is? Yes, so we have a rule book and basically the number 12 rule is whoever scores the most points wins. So you have a goal and basically you have three players from each team fighting to push the ball to that side of the goal. You have a couple offensive plays like a forward shot or you can have some defensive plays like a hook or a back shot towards your goal. So yeah. It's a three-on-three -three game. Three-on-three -three game. No goalies. No goalies. Sounds like a lot of fun. Well, that's all we have today. Thank you so much for coming to the studio. No problem. Um, and thank you for joining us today on the Mustang News. We, we have time for one more question. So, yourself included, the most exciting thing you've ever done in the game of polo? The most exciting thing I've ever done was probably playing on the beach, just to be around all of the waves in the ocean and the just craziness of the game where all of a sudden the ball will be caught up in the waves. All so, right, thank you, yeah. Trista. Have a great day. Thank you for being with us on Mustang News. Thank you.